afternoon, everyone. I'm so excited I've got my tackies on so I can run and I can be energized. And don't worry, this won't be another boring speech by a sponsor. Um, I am, how many people do you have working for you in your school? 43 people, goodness. How many people do you employ? Um, me. Yes, <laughs> yourself, one person. That's hard work. Do you have a tough boss? Anybody else? How many people do you employ, sir? 20 people. It's hard work being the boss. Um, but good news is from today you have one more employee. Me. My job is to work to support and help schools. Um, I'm the CSI manager for my school, my village, my planet. Not crime scene investigation. <laughs> Corporate's <laughs> corporate social responsibility. And let's face it, the most precious thing any of us have really is our time. But the interesting thing is time is worth so much, but you can't keep it. You've got to spend it. So if you're going to spend it anyway, how about investing it so it gives you some returns? So I think my first point that I'd like to make is to say congratulations to you for choosing to invest your time back in yourself and in developing yourself, because that's something that we at My School, My Village, My Planet have seen repeatedly, is that people who invest in themselves, and especially leaders who invest in themselves, can be better leaders and can lead entire teams for change. So that's why we believe in investing in school leadership, because even if you invest in only a handful of people, the impact is multiplied because of your, um, your impact and your the impact that you have on, on, your, on your community around you. So firstly, thank you for that. Um, my school, my village, my planet chooses to invest in a few different things. And school leadership is one of our flagship priorities. And that's why School Leadership Forum is so important to us. And this year we're very excited because School Leadership Forum is happening in Durban, in Tswane, in the Winelands. The reach is expanding so much more than ever before. Years ago it was just it was just us and, and it's really, really grown and it's because there is a need for this type of opportunity. So from my side, if, um, if your school would like to benefit even further from My School, My Village, My Planet, I think it's important that you make sure that your school is registered on the My School program. It's for free for any school to register. And if you're not sure if your school is on board, you can check on the website or you can download the My School app and on the beneficiary section you can search for your school name. And if you want to register on the My School program, you send in some forms like your banking details and your school information and you'll get loaded. And that means that when people go out and shop at partner stores like Lute or Woolworths or Perky Pets or Engine Quick Shops, they can swipe their My School card for your school and a portion of what they're spending gets donated back to your school. So I'm shopping anyway, and a portion of what I'm spending gets donated on my behalf to something that I actually really care about. So that's the, really the first thing, is make sure your school is registered. If you're not sure, you can contact my school, we'll help you. And then there's the CSI side, which is, which is if, if your school, Besides for us investing in School Leadership Forum, we also invest in other initiatives at schools directly. Um, this is usually equipment, educational equipment, um, library and library equipment uh, linked to literacy, and rarely, but we have done it, um, invest in infrastructure. So I can promise you that I receive about 100 emails a month from schools. Ah, I need a computer lab. Who doesn't? I'd love to have iPads. Me too. Everybody has something that they want. But if you're approaching a, a corporate and you want a donation, think carefully about how you position and pitch your appeal. So make sure that me and my panel of seven panel members that I need to convince that it's worth investing in your school that they really see that you've thought this through, you have a plan of action, and that our investment is going to make a big impact in your school. So for example, I want to take a recent, a recent donation we've done for a school in, in Durban, so you won't know them. They needed two new smart boards, and their projector is so old, I think it still operates on DOS. Okay, so 
anybody can say, hey, I need, I need those two new smart boards. Which school doesn't need it? What they did is they showed us their plan of how these smart boards will be integrated into their curriculum, how their teachers are trained to use this equipment, a pilot that they have run to show the impact, and then they said, and here is my quote to show you this is the exact cost. And we could see they really had thought about it. They thought about all the other needs also, and they said, this is not our priority. We have these following 10 things on the list. We've prioritized this, and this is why you, my school, should invest in us and help us do it. And they're getting their smart boards. It's installed, I think, today. So I invite you to, to approach us, but do so with consideration. Um, and that's, that's why we're here, is to collaborate, to create this opportunity. And it's also for me to be able to connect with you directly um, so we can make the impact at grassroots level. Okay, so I thought that would be useful to, to tell you today a little bit more about sort of the psychology and the background around putting forward your, your donation appeal. And let's face it, once you've written that proposal, it could be two or three pages, nothing long. It's ready to send to anybody, not just my school. Then you could go to many other corporates as well, local business partners. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful. And I wish you um, a, a great day today. It's a fantastic topic, and I hope it's a very productive day for us. Thank you very much.